Good morning. Another day, another walk. So this is the earliest that I've been actually out the door to walk. It's half six. And um, we're here in Fontanas and the Ospelatero last night explained to everyone at the communal dinner that the next few towns there's not that many albergues open and there's not that many beds in each albergue. So um, a few people are a little bit worried about that, so they're up early to push. I'm not too worried, I'm just up early because I want to be. Because if worse comes to worse, you can always get like a, a cheap hotel or something. So, yeah, today, I don't know where we're going to end up, but I'll let you know. Just wanted to show you everybody my uh, fancy little headlamp that I wear here when it gets dark. As Ollie would call me, I'm a super pilgrim now. Uh, I just wanted to test it out. And I bet I look super cool wearing it as well. Sometimes when you're walking, you forget to just stop and take in what's around you. And it's important to do that as well because that's just lovely. That's just made me feel awake after like an hour of walking like still asleep so I was just saying that this is the when you get to the this is the if you break the trip into like thirds this is the second third and this is where it gets uh, uh, tough on the mental side like it's still physical but like I was saying on day one like there's a physical mental and emotional side to it so the, the, the physical side I feel like I've got over that because I've no bad injuries my legs are used to walking and the aches and pains are mostly gone um, and well now it's like, okay, people that you've made friends with are a day ahead of you or a day behind you maybe and the, 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 the novelty of just being here and, you know, checking into an alberg every night and packing your bag up and getting dinner and going for drinks, that's, well there's still lots of fun, that's, the newness of that is worn off and you know you're walking every day so it just becomes a little bit, um, a little bit harder. On that sense, and uh, I think that's good because you have to be, have to be mentally tough to, to get through this and still feel happy and still ask yourself questions, not just get your head down and walk. So that's uh, that's my little talk for this minute. Oh, we are just coming up to the the ruins of the convento, the San Anton. So be a small little village that we're coming into here now. Um, probably say happy birthday to my brother Rob for yesterday which would have been March the 8th and uh, just been doing a lot of thinking about my nephew Bobby this morning and just how I miss him and just what a brilliant uh, or how brilliant he's been for everybody and uh, how he's changed all of our lives in the last year and a half and it's funny that to think that he can in a few years look back on these videos and and uh, and I'm saying hello to him right now, so it's funny, and uh, yeah, it's nice to think about just you know a life that's just starting off and all the great things that he can go on and do and see. So, hello to Bobby. Just been hit by a little bit of rain, but I don't mind because I've got my new super poncho, and now I look like Benito, <laughs> which means I have the wisdom as well. I'm dry, and I have the wisdom. There is. And it's a place to stop and get some coffee. Okay, people, we had a nice little stop for breakfast, but we are going up over that mountain, that bad boy up there. So that's the next little hurdle to overcome here in the rain. But we got my poncho and my my newfound Benito poncho wisdom. So everything is looking rosy.
this is a so this is a good little climb up the hill nearly to the top of it now um, this will represent the hardest part of today's trek in terms of physically it's not too bad it's amazing how quickly you get used to it. it's amazing to think how quickly like we were behind that farm mountain um, the town that we had stopped off in I mean that was seven or eight kilometers from the starting point today and I mean it's not even 10 in the morning yet so we're doing good just made it to the top of this hill which is nice uh, Rainbow. That's just appears. This is really nice. And uh, Kate was welcoming me again today. And this is the spot now where. Uh, huh? I saw that. Yeah. I got it. But this is the spot where Enrico and Luis Guillermo, who are ahead of us, have challenged me and Luis, who's behind me, to do our topless selfie. So it would be bad form. Uh, just because they're from Italy and Brazil and rock six packs does not mean I'm afraid. So hang on, give me a second and let me get. I'll come back. Here. There you go, alright? <laughs> For Louise, I think. And remember ladies, it's not how good you look, it's how good you feel. <laughs> These last few days really, it has reminded me of Ireland. It's just, you could be there, but yeah. It's downhill from here. It just is a relief, but at the same time, it can be difficult on the knees. So you have to be careful. And, uh, I think we have about under 15k to go. Uh, in the place we're going to stop, for Dia. Pronounced and uh, it's downhill and it's uh, downhill or flat, so it should be no problem. Um, I take my poncho off after my little shirtless challenge that was issued in our WhatsApp group, and I think the poncho's gonna have to go back on. We're gonna be hit by shower rain. Okay, anyone that knows me knows that I like a good old Irish band and a good old sing song. So the last hour has just been me in this environment, just yeah, favourite songs, mostly kind of ones that you'd hear Luke and Ronnie and the Dubliners sing, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's kind of got me in touch with me records and healthy soul. Um, <laughs> but I like doing it. Uh, I'm not going to like sing on the camera or anything like that. Uh, yeah. But just to, just to say that that's what I've been doing here in these green fields, and it's funny with me. I'm patriotic anyway, you know, I love Ireland, but when I'm away, I just I get super Irish and I'm very proud of where I'm from and uh, the culture that we have and the heritage and uh, I just thought I'd share that with you because uh, uh, it's made me happy today. So I don't know how big it is, but we're in the province of Palintia and you know, Camino de Santiago in Castilla y León. León. So, let's have a look. Santiago. So we are... Where are we? Okay. We are... Here, and we're heading for here. And we've a long, long, long way to go. Santiago, still. We're getting there. sausage, chips and eggs in uh, Altero de la Vega. So that was good and then all the other familiar faces that you will have seen in the videos, they are, are also there now but I'm going to walk on and keep going because I just want to as usual and that's um, what else is good for you. Now that's it, just had lunch there and uh, just follow the details on Facebook with uh, some Spanish guys who are making doing what I'm doing, basically the same thing, they're making vlogs and we were part of their vlog last night. They thought I was from the United States, I corrected them straight away, so that was fun and then they were saying about Paddy's Day which is coming up, which hopefully we're in a good town, there's a few of us, that would be nice because I hate Paddy's Day out on my home, so maybe I'm away, I will enjoy it. Excuse me. 
and uh, so we have another eight kilometers to go before reaching the town that we're staying in today. I'll show you some graffiti. A bit rainy again here. Uh, Grino. Buen camino. Little canal between the canals and all that. that I have, I know it's not many of us, but it's only uh, starting the channel for this and I hope that uh, it's giving you an insight, a little insight into what goes on on the Camino if you're planning to do your own one. And thanks everyone for the comments that you've left me so far. If you have any questions or anything like that that can help with from being here, just drop me a, a comment and when I get a chance and some good Wi-Fi, which I haven't had for a few days, I'll make sure that I write back to everyone as well. So, buen Camino. Okie dokie, coming into Boadilla del Camino, it's just before 3 o'clock so that's pretty decent timing considering that we stopped off for breakfast and lunch, so let's just find somewhere open. And I've made the alberga. Um, nice, little, nice little lounge here. And uh, dinner here at 6. And, uh, you know, basic bunk bed scenario upstairs. So I'm just going to relax. I'm trying to upload some videos for you guys. So uh, some people have stayed in the town before us, some have gone to the town after. So I'm just in this alberga. It's just me and four Germans, so it's a good job that there's lots of uh, beds because they all had their towels down before we could even dump me back. <laughs> yeah, I know you like that one. Okay, I'm gonna go and get some some beer. Okay, this is cooking with Ollie, right? <laughs> now, I didn't finish my tomatoes, so Ollie got in there and is a matter of making a tight modern sculpture out of them. Oh, oh sorry, it's not Ali, it's Igor. <laughs> Igor, this is the thing. Yeah, I'm walking to uh, New York. I'm at the show. I'm going down and I'm going to have a lot of time eating. Okay. <laughs> 